three, two, one. Hello, my friends, my little YouTube friends. Did you like my creaky chair? Welcome back to my channel. Before I begin with anything, I just want to say thank you, thank you. Thank you to every single supporter, all my little friends, everyone that I know for the outpouring positive messages I've been receiving from everyone. I'm going through a really rough patch right now and eventually when I get through this, I promise you guys that I will show you the way of clarity, how I got there. Right now I'm still in the process so I can't really like speak on something that I haven't fully accomplished yet. I'm okay, I will make it through this and the only reason I am okay is because you guys are helping me distract myself. So without further ado, let's begin our tutorial. But wait, before I begin the tutorial that I'm going to show you guys today. Now I know I always talk shit about primers and you guys already know this. There's like only maybe two primers in this world that I've like okayed. And I don't like it because of like it's silicone based. So my skin was going through a lot. This specific product, my mom showed me prior. She is an esthetician. Also, they decided to sponsor me, so what? I was like, okay. Why I find this product interesting to a skincare because it was created by a doctor, Roshini Raj. She is a gastroenterologist. Tula is a doctor-founded, clean, and effective skincare and wellness brand where 100% of the products are formulated with probiotics and superfoods. So why I find products like this fascinating for myself is because it's like me creating a makeup line. I know what to put into a product to make it easier to apply to take away that's making it difficult or the things that don't need to be in there. And she has truly created a very, very cool skin line. What this skin line does is nothing like I've seen before. It is created with probiotics to restore your skin's microbiome. Okay, that is a lot of science talk. So basically, just to make it easier, it's kind of like the fountain of youth. Probiotics are essential for our body. <laughs> like, it's kind of crazy what it does. It is soothing, nourishing, calming, brightening. It takes away texture. Aside from that, they have this really cool product. I use the Cover FX face spray, but this one it is actually created with strawberry extract. And this is a clean skincare brand, meaning it's cruelty free. It doesn't have chemicals in it. It's natural. This is the Signature Glow Refreshing Mist, and it is very, very, very similar to Cover FX. Look at me glow, honey. That's just a mist. Imagine putting that over makeup. It's really nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Today we are recreating a look that I did on Miss Jennifer Lopez recently. It is a very, very simple look. I wanted to teach it to you guys because I know a lot of you guys have been asking for celebrity recreations. I kind of want to do it of now because Truth be told, sometimes I forget what products I used on somebody if I don't write it down or if I don't have my makeup assistant write it down. This time, from start to finish, we wrote down every single product that we used and in the order that I used it. So again, I'm doing exactly what I did on her. I don't recommend this. I'm being very contradictory right now because some of you guys want the exact steps, but like for me personally on each person, I change it up a little bit on every single person because not everyone looks the same. They don't have the same face shapes, skin tones, but like at the same time, I try to get my chest as close to her color as possible. I have on the Scott Barnes bling bling, and then I sprayed the Tula spray over it, the Radiant Spray. I'm gonna do like down to the lip color that doesn't match me, exactly what I did on her, how I did it on her. And for anyone that looks similar to her, I hope you guys learn from this technique, or if anyone's just a Jennifer Lopez fan and wants to know how I do her makeup, this is how I do it. Let's get right into it. Let's roll our sleeves up and get to work, bitches. Basically did toner on my face and I did the spray. And now I'm gonna actually use the 24 hour night cream underneath. If you guys know when I do makeup, I like to use the night creams on the skin because the way it adheses the foundation is like no other, to be honest. So I'm gonna place the 24 hour Tula skincare night cream on. It is so soft. You guys have no idea how soft their products are when you put them on. 
And I like to like rub it in because I want to like lymphatic drain my nose. We all know my nose is broken now, lovely. It's good that I'm doing a JLo tutorial because you know, we snatch your nose like to the gods. We have to do upward strokes because I know if Mama Harush watches this, she's gonna like throw her little chust at me. Chust means like slipper in Armenian. She'll like throw a slipper at me. Like she's taught me better. Sorry, I'm supposed to go like this according to her. But I do this and she screams. We all know that I don't like primers too much. So Tula created um, a Brighten Up Smoothing Primer Gel. So this is a gel that serves as a primer too. And it kind of looks like this. It's like really hard to explain. I can't explain what it's like touching it. If you can touch a cloud, it's like touching a cloud, like a cloud on a rainy day. Cause it's moist. So I'm gonna take a little bit, work it into my hands and it feels like water. I can't explain it. And I'm going to just apply it everywhere. It's not like any other primer I have ever tried in my entire life. This is something that I've never seen. And the way your makeup lays on this gel is kind of insane. I'm gonna get underneath the eyes. I'm gonna do this for the paper towel roll. I'm gonna get crafty and put my little mirror over here. And then also make sure to go to tula.com and use code Harush. All my codes are just my name, Harush, Harush because you know, there's only one Harush out there. If you guys know a girl named Harush, let me know. But you know, it's so cool. Um, one of my Instagram followers actually named her daughter Harush and she like messaged me and was like, I named my daughter Harush after your name. My name means sweetness and fire combined. Isn't that the truth? So let's begin with Z Makeup. I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Again, all the brushes and the products that I'm going to use is going to be listed in the description box below. Sephora number 10 brush. I'm gonna pick up on that potion, close my eyes, and I'm going to work it in. And I'm just using like small strokes. So for the shoot, they called for a very natural look. I mean, that woman is like gorgeous naturally, like she's just so stunning. But um, this is a very simple look that you guys can all do at home. I am going to take the Makeup Forever HD powder and I'm just going to press that in just to the crease. You don't need a lot of it, by the way. It's a very like finely milled powder. So if you guys have a lot of creasing and you guys don't like baking, this is the powder for you. Now I'm going to take a Jaclyn JH30 brush. So remember how I showed you guys that I do Z palettes? Because I'm a professional makeup artist, I don't like keeping the palettes together because it's just like, this is actually five palettes into one. Unfortunately, some of my older palettes, I didn't label them on the bottom, but this one is like a Viseart palette and it is the neutral tones. I put it in the same order that it comes in the palette. So if you get the Viseart palette, like it's just in the order. So I'm gonna pick up on that middle color, it's a nude, and I'm just going to pat it in. This nude is one of the prettiest nudes I've ever used in my life, you guys. And Viseart, one of my favorite eyeshadow browns, it's very expensive, but the way it applies, it's like, incomparable to anything you've ever used. So now I'm going to pick up on this tone over here with a Morphe brush, it's code Harush. And I am going to keep my eye open and this look, whatever eye shape you have, you can do. Even if you have a hooded eye, just keep it open. Like see how I'm like keeping it open and applying it here. So what we are doing is we're just carving out the eye. I remember while I was doing her makeup, I was like, oh, this is probably one of the simplest makeup jobs I've ever had. Cause when you go on shoots, usually like each shoot is different. They like call for different looks. And this one just happened to be a natural one. So again, personally, I wouldn't do this on my eye shape. I'm just showing you how I did it on her for you guys to know exactly how I did it. Like I usually like going heavier here versus the outsides. Now I'm gonna go in with Anastasia Swish Brush using the brown here. It's basically like putting on eyeliner with a shadow. And you wanna just keep it as close as humanly possible to your lash line. Comment down below if you guys have tried the skincare line. 
Like for her, I don't go out too much. But for me, I always like to drag it like out more. But again, I'm going to do exactly what I did on her. So just like a little flick. I'm gonna go in with the Sigma E30 brush and I'm gonna pick up on Oud from Huda Beauty. And I am just going to go over that. I'm gonna go over the exterior line, not like smudging the line that's really outstanding, if that makes any sense. I'm telling you guys, this is a simple dimple look. Picking up on the Serge Lutin's blusher that I keep getting red for. And this plays a very big role because of the color it gives. See the difference? It just like brings the eye to life. Now I'm gonna go in from Buxom Extrovert. It's called Filthy Rich. I'm gonna go back in to the Morphe and Jaclyn brush. And I'm gonna come in from the outside in a circular motion and kinda allow the combination of that tip to the crease. Probably should have put on my skincare after I did the eyeshadow without all this fallout. Now I'm going to go in to the NYX NYX Cosmetics, the golden bronze color. I am going to hit my waterline with it. Close the eye. We're just adding a little tiny, tiny sparkle. Now underneath the lash line, I'm gonna take that oud color and I am just going to smudge that in and bring it up to go in to the top liner. I'm just going to massage some more of the Tula in. Don't forget, if you go on their website and you get it and you end up getting a hundred more, because I told you it was good, to use my code, Harush. I'm like almost like violently doing it to make it red, to make all the color come up. Do you guys see how simple that eyeshadow look was? Like if you practice it, you can get it down so fast. Next thing we are doing is going to be grabbing, it is called Halo Glow Highlighter Duo Golden Pearl from Smashbox. I'm just very lightly going in on the inner corner because you know, JLo always needs to glow, honey. And then also I'm just gonna go very lightly under the bridge of the brow like that. I'm not smearing it all across. Do not do that with a highlight. I'm just going at the highest point of my brow. Let me curl my lashes. Kevin Aquan. So with her, we always begin with contour. She has a very special way with choosing how she does the contour. She actually sat me down and taught me how she likes having her contour done. Basically, Kevin Aquan used to be her makeup artist. Jenny from the block, I'm real, Kevin Aquan, the legend. He's like one of my, not one of, he is my favorite makeup artist of all time is Kevin Aquan. I learned a lot from her because she was like, oh, Kevin used to do it this way. And I'm like, oh my God, Kevin Aquan? Best believe your bitch was like, we are gonna go in with the Bobby Brown and this is the chestnut colors and the two colors near the chestnut. So she has a very interesting way of doing her contour because she does it twice. Yeah, twice. So we're gonna go in on the forehead and again, I'm doing it exactly how I do hers. Don't start screaming, it's too dark for you. It's blah, blah, blah. I know it's too dark for me. I tried to match it to my chest, but I'm just replicating everything used on her that day. And we go like this. She likes to like flicked up and then beaten in over here. She always likes like upward motion. And I'm using a Morphe brush. It's called like number two. And then her jawline, the jaw of hers, Jesus Christ. She doesn't even need contour on her jawline to be honest, but we all do things. So she like brings it up. We bring it up on her. Using the number two Morphe brush and chestnut. So she likes her nose contour. This is how I do it on her. Just two lines right here. And you know how I take mine up? She doesn't like it like that. And of course, she always does this part, the lip. She'll like grab it and do it. The lip moment definitely came from Jennifer. Like how everyone does this, that's like her thing. She's always, always done it. And we draw in on the lip. Like literally, this is one of the main tricks that I do when I learned it from her. You guys know that like TikTok or reel that's like, Who's gonna know? No one. Nobody's gonna know. They're gonna know. No one's gonna know. I'm going in with a Morphe pencil brush again. I'm going to go into the Krylon pan and we are using 
D12, D16, mixing it. And I am going to make a very narrow line and we're gonna go up here. I'm gonna go into the Tula Night Cream with the Sephora Pro Concealer Brush. Pick up that much. Put it on the back of my hand and we are gonna go into the Krylon D16. We're gonna go back in with the contour brush and blend those two together and around. It's contour over highlight. Now, what we do is basically, I'm going to take the Makeup Forever small synthetic brush. We're gonna go in with Chanel 30 foundation and I'm going to begin with covering up the areas that we highlighted with the Chanel. You're going to get with the Chanel Aqua Lumiere foundation. Now we're gonna go in with a larger Makeup Forever brush and we're gonna go in with 50 Chanel. And this is placed on where the contour is. And then I'll start blending in my neck first just to beat off some of the color. Now I'm going to go with the It Cosmetics Heavenly Brush and I'm going to mix the 30 and 50 together. And I am just going down the bridge of my nose just to cover that. Y'all think I'm finished? No. We're gonna go in for another contour. This is the big secret. But this time I'm going to apply the highlight first and then the contour. What you're doing is you're letting the foundation set. Trust me, the first time I saw her doing it, I was like, it's insane. You're letting the foundation sit before going in again one more time. So you get double coverage and it like looks insane and it looks luminous as hell. We are picking up on the color light medium bisque. I am just going to very lightly get that area. We're not going too low this time. It's so fascinating to me to watch people do their own makeup and then learn from them and apply it to my own technique. Like I always take a little something from everyone, but I just wanted to show you exactly how I do it. And this time we're not being so close with it. We're staying on the perimeter of the face, like the outside of the perimeter. Like there's two lines, the exterior line. And this time we're just sharp, no circle. And that's again, just a smidgen pigeon sized, just a little bit, not too much. Center of the nose, a tiny bit, just really lightly. And you're almost like patting it for it to stay there. Up over here to like lift up your chin. We're going back with the brushes and this time just using the residue as much as we can. Residue, the leftovers, whatever your steezes, whatever you wanna call it. This time I'm gonna start with the darker, the 50, and I'm just buffing all of that in. Now I'm gonna go in with the 30, center of the forehead, circular, circular. Fun fact, she doesn't like beauty blenders that much. She's the reason why I learned how to do makeup strictly using only brushes, like this whole thing. I'm not using a beauty blender. How crazy is that old school, huh? I challenge you guys to try like not to use a beauty blender and see if you can do it. And then very lightly again, going to conceal the nose. And we're gonna let that sit for a second. Now I'm going to go in with just a synthetic crease blush brush and just make sure there's absolutely no creases underneath my eyes and getting in those areas. And then now I'm going to blend the nose and the hard to reach areas. Using a Morphe M438 brush, we're gonna go in with the Makeup Forever HD powder. That's how much it is, way too much. I'm gonna pat it out. This product, I suggest if you guys use it, you need to do like a flash test before you go out. If you're not used to using HD powders, this is the shit that'll play you day in and day out. A little goes a long way with this one. I really say it, like look at how much it changed the color of the face. Underneath the contour with the laugh lines around the nose. Now going in with another pencil brush. I'm just gonna go back into that Smashbox highlighter. The infamous nose line. I mean, my nose definitely does not look like hers. If you have a similar nose, it'll look bomber. I'm gonna pick up on a Real Techniques brush pick up on the highlight. You know, it's so funny. I feel like everyone thinks the JLo glow is the highlight, but it's like the way she applies her foundation. That's what makes it glow. That's the secret to the JLo glow. She has like her own 
technique. And we're gonna blend that out. Isn't it crazy? We do the highlight before we do the blush on her. We just powdered, okay? Would you dare? We're gonna put liquid over powder. Yep, I just did that. We're pulling all the colors together, honey, with liquid over powder. I remember the first time I saw her do that, I was like, <gasps> and then when I saw what it looked like, I was like, oh. We did that and we are gonna go in with one of her favorite bronzers and I'm going to use a classic brush CN Richards London for this. We are going to go over the forehead. I think it's like this many steps that creates so much dimension. In my head, I would have never thought contour highlight, contour highlight, contour highlight, set liquid. That's truly something I learned from her. So I would have never guessed to do all this because it's like against everything you're taught. And then she puts it everywhere on her face. Once it's on heavily, goes over like even under her eyes with it. Around. We're gonna go in with a Charlotte Tilb Tilbury. We're gonna go in with a Charlotte Tilbury number two compact mirror with the same brush that we used for under our eyes, the Morphe. And I am just packing on the side of the nose very lightly. See how the highlight goes under all of it? I don't know, she's a genius in many ways than one. So now we are going to, what do you think we're gonna do? So I'm gonna use NARS Ambition Blush. Again, you guys, I'm going to use a Morphe 500, M500 brush. And it's like this beautiful, like orangey tone. Peach, will you say? And it's like glowy. Do you dare me? This is what she does. Goes back into the light, pats it off. And yep, that happened. Yep, went over the powder. And nope, it didn't crease. Yeah, nope. Look at that glow. I mean, my forehead I think is worth a million bucks right now, probably. On the cheeks, this is happening guys. This is happening, whether you like it or not. So the purpose of all of this is like your beat to the gods, but it looks like you're like super dewy, but there's no way any sweat particles are gonna come out at all whatsoever. Let's get into the eyes. That day I used a Swede by Terry Oil de Biche, and this is what they look like. It was like literally a random lash that I just grabbed. I have a funny way of putting on lashes. Now I'm gonna go into the lash and this is what I do on her. I actually, if I'm gonna use a strip lash on her, always, 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 I break them apart. Let's say I'll take the last piece off and make sure to cut um, in a diagonal. So the last strand will go off. And then what I do is the last two strands goes off too, but I keep it cause I'm gonna put it on myself. We're gonna use duo glue, cut off the last strand, then the next two, save it. I'm going to put on the mascara. Mascara, where are you? That's right in front of me, of course it is. I'm not gonna do from top to bottom because we're putting on lashes. If I were to do individuals, I would do that. Just a little strokey stroke. And then a lot of love down below. She likes that. I don't like putting too much mascara on my lower lashes. Personally on me, it just drags my eye down. But again, I am just repeating every single step I did on her. Actually heavier on the bottom than on top. Now we are gonna go in with the lash. I'm gonna go up and as close to the inner corner as I can get without bugging. She likes her eyelashes like super flared up. Again, try to get as close as you can to the inner corner. Pay no mind that this part's off. Now we're gonna go with the edge and we are just gonna plop that on. She likes her eyelashes like very like circular. I personally like my eyelashes cat eye, but I'm giving you circular jello. Another trick, I mean, nope. you guys can't clown me for this at all because it's not the choice or the color I would go for my lip. Just because you know how they say the perfect nude for you is the color of your nipples? Well, mine is not this color. It's uh, more mauve-y, mauve. Even if it doesn't match me, if another makeup style looks better on me, I'm just showing you exactly what I did on her. So it just goes to show you that even if you idolize like how I do my makeup, sometimes you have to customize it. It needs to match to you. Like if you guys like this style, then you probably just like the JLo style on me. Or if you like how I 
usually do my makeup. It's a lot different. If you guys like how I do my makeup or on myself, or if you like Jennifer Lopez's makeup style on me, comment down below. So I'm going to go in. We used a KKW Nude 2 liner. With her, we always round out right here and fill in the corners. We're gonna go in with Anastasia Naked Liquid Lipstick. Again, this is so light for me. You guys have no idea. I'm petrified right now. I haven't put on a nude like this since, um, you guys remember old Hollywood, that nude lipstick everyone and their mom was wearing when it first came out, the liquid lipsticks, the Anastasia OGs. And even if it didn't match you, you were wearing it because it was the only one out. Comment down below if you guys know what old Hollywood is. That's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. And we are gonna go in the center, ombre it out. And we're gonna go over the nude too. Okay, now we're gonna go in with another Anastasia color. It's called Summer Vibes Gloss. It's a very shiny one. Put it on the back of my hand. And with this, you have to be careful and just bring it in the center like that. You can't put this gloss everywhere. It looks crazy. Up here in your cupid's bow, and then like a line down. I mean, if you're gonna do a J-Lo look, bitch, you gotta put on some hoops or, I don't know if you guys saw her like little SNL skit. She was selling hoops on it. I gagged and died. They'll turn your ears the color of money. But I'm putting on little square hoops, making it my own. Like literally, if you're doing a J-Lo look and you don't have on hoops, go sit down. Okay. One last step. Tuna. Close the eyes. After you spray, you go in with a clean brush. Y'all thought I was finished. And you just go over and pick up all the residue. That is my Jennifer Lopez tutorial for you guys. Don't be fooled by the rocks that I got. I'm just, I'm just itching from the box. I had a little, now I have a lot. But no matter where I go, I know where I came from. Armenia. You guys look at the nails, Y. A -N. And if you haven't signed the petition, please go ahead in the description box down below. There's a full blown war going on and Armenia is fighting terrorists off. And just the media is just, I don't know what they're playing with. They're playing with something in their pants, not paying attention. Pay attention people. Something important is going on and there's fake news about it. Please educate yourself. Don't make me, I'm like, just like so frustrated with the topic. So cue the music.